challenge is the Champions League and European success to you to, to, to bridge that gap as well? Yeah, I, I think I think uh, uh, success in uh, uh, in Europe with a trophy and uh, it's important for uh, for every manager. Uh, you know very well uh, that uh, it's not simple, it's not easy because uh, uh, to leave trophy in uh, in Europe, um, especially in uh, Champions League, uh, it's important also to be the the coach, the manager. Uh, or you have a more probability you know, to leave the trophy if uh, um, you are the coach in a, in a team that he used to, to win and uh, it's normal. Um, two, two years ago with the Inter Milan we lost the final and the Europa League against the Sevilla. But for sure in my heart, in my mind, in my ambition there is the will, the will to, uh, to have success in, uh, in uh, Europe. I know, I know very well that uh, it's difficult, but at the same time, uh, I have this, uh, this, this ambition. Antonio, do you think it's true that Italian managers always look at the league title first? No, no, no I don't think. I don't think also because and, uh, we have a Carlo Ancelotti, you know, and uh, this is a clear example. <laughs> That uh, he lived a, a lot of time in Champions League, but he lived Champions League when he was uh, in uh, Real Madrid, when he was in Milan, when Milan was uh, a really, really top team. Uh, and uh, uh, I remember also a final that uh, I lost against him when uh, I was in Juventus, he was in, uh, in uh, Milan. I, I repeat, uh, it depends a lot on uh, the team that uh, you, are, uh, you are coaching, because uh, in this type of competition, the experience, uh, the story uh, means a lot, means a lot because uh, um, for this reason Real Madrid is always protagonist. Just, just remind us about that final, Antonio, if it's not too painful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> can, can you talk about it? Sorry. No, about, about the final. Well, that you lost to Ancelotti. Uh, yeah, but uh, it, it was the... Um, I remember uh, it was the, my my last final Champions League because I played for final Champions League. I won only once, and uh, it was my last uh, final in my career. It was uh, in Manchester United, and uh, finished uh, nil nil. I remember that uh, I hit uh, the crossbar uh, with a header, and uh, I was a uh, uh, unlucky, and we lost uh, with a penalty. Yeah. And Ancelotti, uh, the previous season, was uh, in Juventus. And then uh, he changed, he went to, uh, to be the coach in, uh, with Milan. And uh, I think uh, he had a big, big revenge, no? In, yeah. <laughs> Hello, ciao Antonio. Uh, so you will find tomorrow uh, Igor Tudor uh, um, on the bench uh, of Marseille. You played with him at Juventus. What are you? What, ca what do you remember of him as a player? And what do you think of him as a coach? Thank you. Yeah, um, but uh, about about to Igor yeah, Tudor, Igor. yeah. And uh, Igor is a uh, uh, is a friend, and we played together in uh, Juventus for many years. He's a really good guy. I am really happy uh, to see him uh, um, on the bench um, in a, an important club in uh, Europe, like Marseille. He did very well uh, last season uh, in uh, Verona, and uh, yeah, he's, uh, he's doing uh, a really good job. Uh, he likes to work, to work a lot, and. Uh, um, his team has an idea very, very clear, and um, yeah, I wish all the best for for him and for Marcel. Apart of these two games uh, against us, David, Antonio, um, what are your expectations for Tottenham in this Champions League? All considering the progress uh, Hugo was talking before. First of all, uh, and. Uh, mm, we are talking uh, today. Uh, we are uh, we are having a, a, a press conference, a Champions League press conference, for what we did uh, last season. 
And uh, I think last season uh, we did uh, a fantastic job with the club, with, uh, with the players. And um, honestly, uh, it was difficult only to think to play Champions League this season. Instead, uh, through the work, through hard work, with uh, great compactness between us, and then uh, we we got we got this achievement. Now, first of all, we have to enjoy to enjoy to to play this uh, important competition in uh, in Europe. For sure, uh, we want to play and uh, to try to to do our our best. And um, you know, which is my my thought. And uh, we have to play with ambition, with ambition and. Uh, uh, with great desire, with great uh, will to be protagonist in this uh, in this uh, tournament, in this uh, Champions League. I know very well this tournament is uh, really, really difficult. It's the most difficult in uh, in the world, but at the same time, it's uh, a great opportunity for us to show that uh, we are going in the in the right way, that we are doing step forward, and uh, yeah, we want to. We want to try to, to improve and uh, to give satisfaction to our fans and uh, and then to, to give satisfaction uh, at ourselves. Antonio, um, when you were at Juve, you said that competing in the Champions League was like being in a 100 euro a head restaurant with only 10 euros in your pocket. Um, I, I wondered, do you think Spurs now have the resources and the squad to compete in the Champions League and the Premier League this season? Yeah, first of, first of all, I say this in my second season in Juventus. So when uh, uh, we won the league uh, like underdog, but then uh, they asked me in the second season uh, to, to, to try to win the Champions League. But And the people that know very well uh, football understand that you need of, uh, a process an important process through the work on the pitch, also the pitch, but at the same time you need important investment because in this competition you play against a team with the best players, with the best coaches and you need, if you want to fight for something important, to stay, I don't say the same level, but not so far. And for sure uh, the story of uh, a lot of clubs uh, in this competition is uh, really, really big, and uh, to think, to think, uh, uh, to to same the same level, uh, in this moment uh, is uh, unthinkable. Um, but has to be for us uh, a, a big push, a big push to to try to to improve, to reduce the gap, and uh, to try to fight uh, for something important. Uh, but. Um, the story is very important in football because the story and uh, as I said uh, you before Real Madrid uh, Real Madrid when play when the players play in Champions League they are in their house they brief the atmosphere they know the way to manage the situation and probably during the season they reach at least the semi-final <laughs> in every season, in every season. To win Champions League, it means that uh, uh, you are in the... Uh, every, every, every season, uh, you are a team that uh, you live in this, uh, in this competition and uh, your habitat, your, hab your natural habitat. Other team, uh, they have to, to build and to go step by step, but with ambition. I think that we have to try to to grow with ambition. With ambition, the ambition to to go in every game and to fight, to fight, to, to, to get a win. And, and do you think history is more important than money in the Champions League? Because we saw last year Real beat Chelsea and PSG and Man City, the, the three richest teams in Europe. But do, do you think having that pedigree is, is more important than having lots of money? Yeah, but uh, about Chelsea in the last 10 years, they won twice Champions League, one Europa League. 
money a story <laughs> together but usually a top team is that also top team because they have good money to invest and then become also top team and Chelsea was a clear example no because in the past before Abramovich era oh, but it's the same for Manchester City no and before to arrive the new owner uh, when arrive owner that invest a lot of money and then uh, you create a story <laughs> in, the, <laughs> in the recent period and then uh, probably you lift trophy if you match money investment and also the work don't forget the work because you can put a lot of money but then you have to work in the right way yeah this has to be very clear yeah okay we've got time for two more matt and then we'll finish with jeremy please hi antonio Bye. um this this game is going to be the start of 17 games in just under 10 weeks for all the clubs in the champions league you're yeah. going to be playing champions league every single midweek up until the world cup what do you think of that schedule and how how crazy is it to try and manage that but uh, honestly uh, um, to see this uh, this schedule about uh, tottenham uh, is uh, is incredible it's crazy because uh, we played uh, three games in six days against uh, nottingham forest west ham and fulham now we are playing uh, uh, after four days but we are starting to play again three games three important games against uh, Marseille Champions League City away Sporting Lisbon away in six days I think uh, maybe this is uh, my first time in my career to see a schedule like this and uh, honestly I try to check uh, the schedule of the other teams uh, and uh, um, I have seen that uh, in this situation, uh, Tottenham, uh, uh, they penalized a lot, a lot, uh, uh, our our club, our team. I think in the future, and in this situation, uh, we were unlucky. I think in the future, also I spoke with the, with the club, that we have to pay great attention, to speak also with the Premier League, because we have to pay attention. And uh, when the, there are this type of schedule, one day more, one there. Unless change totally your life and uh, you can drop point, uh, and I think that uh, this is uh, not good for a team like Tottenham. When uh, you want to to start to to think uh, as a winner, you have to take care of the details. The schedule is a details very important for every club, especially for the club that want to fight for something important. I think we can do much better. In for, for the future. Hi Antonio, can we just check on the uh, the team news for uh, Marseille? Yeah. Um, who's unavailable? Is, is Mora okay? And just also on VAR, you had some things to say about VAR at West Ham. How worried were you by what you saw at Chelsea and Newcastle with VAR at the weekend? But you know, you know what, what I said no? in, uh, in the past uh, about the, the VR. Then I think to go again uh, is not is not right, but uh, I, uh, I can I can tell you only that my hope that they they, they go to improve and uh, they try to to find uh, uh, the right line of the decision because in this moment uh, the line is not uh, the same line and the same vision and this is really dangerous. This is really dangerous because in this way uh, you risk to, to, to give advantage uh, uh, some teams and to penalize other teams. And I think uh, the, VR, the VR has to be um, something to help the referees, not to help the referees to make mistakes. Yeah, otherwise, uh, uh, it's nonsense to, to have this... Uh, uh, yeah, to, to have a VAR and to use the VR in this way. And just on the team news, uh, Mora and Hill. Mora is not is not available. Is not still available. And uh, I think uh, um, tomorrow um, he starts to to have a training session on the pitch. 
and uh, he has this inflammation in his, in his tendon. And um, yeah, I hope I hope to recover him very very soon because, uh, especially in front up, we need uh, of him. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. <clears throat>